Right then, we've come to a point now. There's uh, choices back there where I could have gone through an ancient wood above Hutton and then gone back over near where the locking airfield is and then made my way back that way. That is a way. But I usually keep that as a separate walk through that wood through there. Uh, and then sometimes I'd come up and do this as a smaller walk. Not going all the way out the other side of Crook's Peak and round like I've done today. But anyway, I've noticed the gate's missing here. There it is. I don't know why they've taken it down. And there's a little track. Now, from a long way off earlier in the day, I focused in on this copse. And here it is. I'm not, I don't have to go up close to it. But that's a copse I could see when I was right on top of Crook's Peak area, on the back of the peak. In the distance, I pointed out the copse. And I just followed that wood a minute ago, down to Loxton Village, where I cooled off a bit, had a little bit of lunch until I noticed there was a bloody ant's nest where I was sat, and I had to move quick. Now across the field there is Breen Down and Steep Home. There's Steep Home. There's Breen Down. I can see them quite well with the naked eye. Weston is over there. There's Weston. And the hill fort. I was up there yesterday afternoon on one of my small walks, of course. That's like my garden. Uh, the hill fort is like almost like like my back garden. I use that every other day to walk in. Or, well, at least once a week, put it that way. But quite often more. Especially in the summer. When you want to get out. And you haven't got, like I said before, I'm in a flat. I have no garden. So I make the land my garden. Okay, look at it. Bloody beautiful, isn't it? This is quite a hike, by the way. Now, I used to be able to do it with no problems. Um, I didn't have any breathing problems a few years back. Uh, so, and I was lighter. So, uh, when I do this whole walk like I've done today, you know, you're on, I'm, I'm into like the fourth, fifth hour of walking now. Um... Seems a long way when I was on the strawberry line talking to a woman who was just going for a little cycle and found that hard. And uh, and I said to her, oh yeah, I've got six hours of walking at least, minimum. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's Western again. Let's just zoom in again. I've got to go over there yet. I do sometimes get the bus, so like I said, from uphill. My house will be over there somewhere. I actually love this field that I'm walking in now. And over there by the copse there's another field which they used to have um, table and chairs in. And um, yeah, I had abundance of energy the only time I got nine years ago. I had abundance, I didn't have any tightness. <sighs> yeah, absolutely beautiful. I've loved this walk. I love where I am at this moment, walking across this field. <laughs> Look at that, it looks a little bit damaged. But you've got the beautiful dandelions out. And I've got to be walking down in a minute, following close to the River Axe, back over to over there where Bleeden will be. And then down across to uphill. 
Brent Knoll in front of me. Brent Knoll's been around. They they all guard. Steep home, Brent Knoll, Breen Down, Crooks Peak, Glastonbury. And this is a beautiful walk. I've got some beautiful, absolutely fantastic photos of this field. Usually I go down lower and I get down low and I take a picture, which I'm going to do in a minute. And it's not quite so good today, the sky. But when you've got absolutely really blue sky and these white puffy clouds that stick out. Not like a white greyness there, but they stick out. There isn't really that today. Not like last year when I did it. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at my town over there. Look, seems to, seems to get bigger every year. I don't know if it is. Anyway, I'm heading for the stile there. Right? I'm just going to take some pictures while I'm here, so I'm turning off now. It's turning off. Over and out.